Hello, my dear students. Today we will see the different types of optical fibers. Basically, optical fibers are classified according to the different types of modes, or we can say different types of modes of propagation. Then, according to the uh, material that is used for the manufacturing, and then we have another one that is on the basis of its working so now see here optical fibers are basically divided in two types the first one is single mode fiber in short we called it as a fmf and the second one is multi mode fiber that is mmf now see what is mean by single mode and multi mode see in the single mode fiber it only supports only one mode of propagation now see what is meant by mode of propagation mode of propagation basically it tells us about in how many ways we are transferring the data so one mode of propagation or single mode of propagation that means we are transferring the data in only one way and in multi mode we use different types of ways or more than a single way that is the main basic meaning of mode of propagation now another one is what in single fiber mode the core diameter is much smaller or it is a smaller one but in a case of multi mode fiber we use core diameter as bigger one as compared to the single mode fiber so these are the two types of optical fibers again we divide these two types according to their applications like step index fiber and the second one is graded index fiber step index fiber in short form we called it as a si and for graded index fiber we called it as a grin so these are the two short forms we use for two types of these optical fiber now see what is meant by step index and what is meant by graded index see in step index fiber the refractive index of core medium it is a constant the refractive index of core it is what it is constant but in case of graded index the refractive index of core is varying it is what varying that means the value of ri is not constant over the all the cross section of core we'll see later on that how it changes again the second difference is what see step index fiber it is mainly used for data transmission over the long distances and the graded one is used for shorter distances and the third important point is what in step index fiber the attenuation rate is high as compared to the graded index fiber in graded index fiber the attenuation is very low now see what is meant by attenuation see attenuation means the loss of data like whenever we transmit the signals in the form of light waves there is a See, actually there is a loss of some data that loss in data that term we called it as a attenuation that is what that is attenuation so attenuation will tell us exactly how much of data is been lost during the transmission how much data has been lost during the transmission again one more thing in single mode fiber normally or usually step index fiber or this particular technique is used and in multi mode fiber we use both step index as well as graded index fiber or these two types so we will see in detail how step index and graded index differ from each other and how they help in optical data transmission now see what is step index fiber as i said it is the simplest type of optical fiber now see in step index fiber like see if we we'll draw one normal or simple optical fiber like this then suppose this one the center part it is what it is again core medium so see in optical fiber or in step index type the core diameter this one it is what it is a smaller one or it is a minimum one and 
then we have cladding see in general the cladding diameter is 10 times the diameter of core especially for step index fiber now let the refractive index of this core be mu1 and that of the cladding it is what it is mu2 so this is cladding and this center part it is what it is core now see in step index fiber the refractive index of this core it is what it is constant it is what it is constant but in case of graded index the refractive index varies now see here as the refractive index is constant so if you we consider one light ray like this one see this is the suppose this is the axis of core now if we consider one light ray here it will get refracted like this one no doubt the angle of incidence will be greater than its critical angle this one and then light will refract or it will get reflected in the same medium and then there will be multiple reflections like this as see as the refractive index of core it is a constant so for light rays which are coming into the fiber at different angles the light rays which are coming into the fiber at different angles they will have different paths they will have different paths now see suppose if we consider another ray like this one this one suppose so this ray will be like this one then again here then again here and then so on see in this way you can draw many light waves so as the refractive index is constant so all of the light or all of the light rays which are traveling into this particular core section they will have different path length they will have different path length path length and as we know that as there is a difference in path so all the rays will take different timings to reach from the starting section at the or up to the end section so the time taken by light waves in step index fiber it will be different so what will happen as the time taken by the light that time is different so all of the light rays will not reach at the end point at the same time so this will create distortion this will create distortion in the signal see this problem it is overcome in graded index fiber so this is what this is step index fiber now see if we draw the refractive index profile of step index fiber see how we can do that see as we know that this value of mu1 that is the refractive index of core it is what it has to be greater than the refractive index of cladding see now if we draw so this is the horizontal axis and suppose this one this one will give you the value of refractive index so this is ri as we know that the refractive index of core it will be maximum so here i'll draw suppose this is the section or the refractive index value for core see this one it is core as we see that this straight line it indicates that the value of refractive index is a constant for this core then for cladding the value will be little bit lower one or like this one see this is the refractive index profile for cladding this blue line is for cladding and the red one is for core you can see there this is cladding this is what this is cladding so this is the refractive index profile here i can mark these two points see this point this will be mu2 and this point this will be mu1 and no doubt mu1 is greater than mu2 mu1 is greater than mu2 so this is what this is the refractive index profile so see now we can some of the things for step index fiber the first thing is what in step index fiber the core has a small diameter the diameter of core is what it is the smallest one then second one is 
again there is a one more concept we will see in detail it later on that concept is a numerical aperture so in step index fiber it offers low numerical aperture then the third point we can say as i said in step index fiber the signal loss is more so that is higher attenuation higher what attenuation and the fourth point is we can use a wide range of bandwidth for signal transmission so we can use higher bandwidth for data transmission now see bandwidth bandwidth means what it is the range of frequencies over which we can transmit the data so that is a bandwidth so in bandwidth there is a or it is the difference between lower frequency and higher frequency just remember bandwidth is what it is the difference between lower frequency and higher frequency so here i can write fh minus fl fh is higher frequency fl is low frequency and the difference that gives the bandwidth so in step index fiber it offers high bandwidth again the attenuation loss is again high as i said what is mean by attenuation attenuation you see this light light is whenever it is incident at the wall of the core medium now see this particular medium or this particular line it divides the core and cladding so this is a basically interface between cladding and core so at this interface what happens when light incident at here we say that all of the light is reflecting in the same medium only but due to the interface there is a some loss of signal that is a much much minor one but on account we have to count it now see here i'll write the attenuation loss just simply imagine suppose at the start this is the light wave suppose suppose the intensity of light wave at this starting point let it be 2 microwatt let it be what the it, its value is what 2 microwatt now see as soon as this light passes through this core section at some instant or we say at the end let it be at the end this particular wave there is a reduction in the amplitude of the wave that is what a reduction in the amplitude of wave let this value be 1.5 microwatt so now here we can say that there is a loss of signal there is a loss in intensity of power of signal so this loss this loss is called as a attenuation this loss is called as a attenuation so that is attenuation so this is what this is everything about the step index fiber its basic mechanism and and its properties so in next session we will see about the graded index fibers thank you so much